a singing lesson, and then I'll be back. But, um, so I've been playing around with this Smart Edge Agile by Avnet and Octonian uh, with the Brainium uh, online portal that allows you to generate machine learning modules from the sensors on this hardware device, which we've covered before. Um, but this is the first time I've gotten the demo up and running, so I'm super excited about it. What I decided to build was something relating to the old internet gem. Uh, I don't know what exactly it's called, but it's like badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Then there's like a snake part. I'm sure you remember if you're more than like five years old. Anyway, um, so I decided to create something that would detect whether you're signaling a B for badger, an M for mushroom, or an S for snake. And as you can see, it just updated with the. Badger motion, and if I do it with an S, we should get a little text notification. Unless I was like way too excited and did that one wrong. Should be pretty easy though, come on. We're gonna give it a couple more seconds. Ah, I'll do it again. <laughs> that might have been more of like a backwards Z. But um, yeah, it's been working really well actually. Oh yeah, there we go, snag. <laughs> and then if you do mushroom, nothing happens because I hate mushrooms and I think they're super boring. But <laughs> badgers are cool, so I definitely want to get alerts when there's a badger in the vicinity. And I definitely get want to get an alert when there's a snake in the vicinity because as Thor says, I love snakes. Um, and yeah, I don't know if anyone else remembers my favorite move moment from uh, that one movie. <laughs> Whichever one it was, what was it called? Uh, anyway, no time for that. Um, check out this interface. You basically go into here, you train your models. Um, I've set up badger, mushroom, and snake. Uh, and as you can see, I have two training sets for each of them. I just went through and did 10 or so iterations of the uh, initial movement with the Smart Edge Agile. Then I used the button at the bottom to generate my model. Um, and then I applied it to this project, which is where you can see that it's got these two AI rules assigned, and those include ones for uh, triggering alerts in if this then that, if I receive a snake alert, uh, and an alert in the Brainium interface if it receives the badger action. So I'll show you also what that looks like in if this then that. I have removed, I've changed the text because it includes your phone number in the text of the thing by default, which is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, every time that I run this, it should, in fact, if, do you detect actually that I've run this already? No, <laughs> it's not updating on the if interface that it's actually run, but uh, that's how I did it. You know, you can, you can do the whole thing of where, um, if you've never used if this then that before, basically to create a new applet, you go here, and then you go new applet, and then it asks for your this. You can make Brainium. I chose the uh, any new alert from motion recognition rule in Brainium. And then for that, there's all kinds of stuff you can choose. You can send a tweet, you can send an SMS to yourself, you can send an email, send something in your pocket, write an Evernote note. Uh, so you could log data that way, you can there's eight bajillion options here. You can control smart home devices. In fact, uh, the existing tutorial for this on Hackster does use a smart home device. If we go here, the Brainium Quick Start, which is a magic wand example project for Harry Potter fans out there. Uh, they're using it to control a smart, wi a smart plug. Casa Smart Wi-Fi Plug Mini. So they can turn stuff on and off in their house by waving a magic wand around, which I think is pretty great. Go check that out. Uh, all these links are in the description to this video, and you can find it on Premiere for now. So I'm gonna be having a lot of fun with this in the future. Thanks for watching, have an awesome rest of your MCU Monday, and we will see you tomorrow. Ciao.